working in the spirit of the Golden Empire. This is 17 News at 11. They can still come together when we need each other. That's, that's what's important. The community shows up as one to raise money for the family of the late Patricia Alatori. Well, good evening to you on this Sunday. I'm Aton Wallace, and we thank you for having us in. More on that story in a moment, but first we begin with breaking news out of the Buena Vista Aquatic Recreational Area. This is a video just into our newsroom from KGET Chief Photographer Sam Montero. The Kern County Sheriff's Office says at about 7.15 this evening, swimmers at the lake noticed what appeared to be human remains. Homicide detectives and the coroner responded to the scene and are investigating at this hour. Lieutenant Cesar Oyage says it's too early to know whether these are in fact human remains, but he confirmed an investigation is underway. You may recall in September 2018, a human leg was found in the lake. It's unclear if that incident is related to this discovery tonight. Meantime, drivers from local car clubs came out in full force tonight to support and raise money for the family of Patricia Alatori, the local teen whose life was brutally cut short earlier this month. Investigators believe Alatori was kidnapped and murdered by Armando Cruz, who allegedly drove from Inglewood in Southern California to Bakersfield to meet the teen after they connected on social media. He has pled not guilty to a dozen felonies. Fast forward to 6 o'clock this evening, and you see right here, hundreds of people and cars met at the Mesa Marin Sports Complex to, quote, Cruz for Patty, as she was known. At 7.30, they drove to the 13-year-old's memorial in southwest Bakersfield, <coughs> excuse me, at Granite Peak and Crescent Ridge Streets. I give all my support to the family. Uh, I know it's going to be a hard time, but just take it day by day. Experiencing, like, seeing that tragedy with the family, we really want to make sure that you know, the community outreach is here strong to represent Bakersfield and to sh uh, show that support for, for the families. The evening also featured folk dancing and candle lighting. To news across the state now, F a fire erupted today on board a U.S. Navy ship docked in San Diego. More than 20 sailors and civilians were sent to a local hospital for treatment, but the injuries appear to be minor. NBC's Dan Sheneman reports. It was before 9 a.m. when firefighters received the first of three alarms at Naval Base San Diego. We have an awful, there's a large amount of smoke. This is not going to be a good spot up here. An explosion and a fire on board the USS Bonhomme Richard sent clouds of smoke into the sky. Um, the fire was initially engaged by ship's company, and Naval Base San Diego activated their emergency operations center to alert level three. The Navy says 17 sailors and four civilians were sent to a local hospital with minor injuries. Hope for the best and uh, hope that they're okay. 160 sailors were on board the USS Bonhomme Richard. The Navy says all are safe and accounted for. An 1,800-foot perimeter has been established around the USS Bonhomme Richard and the surrounding buildings uh, on, on the base and been evacuated to ensure safety of personnel. The vessel is based in San Diego and was undergoing routine maintenance. The cause of the fire is not known. Dan Shenneman, NBC News. What a day. Temperatures today topping out at a whopping 108 in Bakersfield, just five degrees shy of that record high of 113. So into tonight, still looking then for a warm night. This morning we started out at 77 and our average low is 71. So we were still well above that. Let's take a look at what we have in store. The heat advisory is going to actually go until tomorrow night at 8 o'clock and that excessive heat warning until tomorrow night as well. So temperatures out in the desert could reach 111 to 114. Tonight looking pretty dry here over the four corner states. We still have a mixed bag of weather, but here's your forecast into the overnight hours. Temperatures will be dropping into the 80s and then tomorrow another triple digit day with 100 degrees plus in the forecast. We could see 104 in the valley. In the mountains tonight dropping down into the mid to upper 60s and then tomorrow back up into those lower 90s. We're going to talk about how long the heat wave will last in pinpoint weather. Okay, Alyssa, thank you. Meantime, tonight, multiple states are breaking records for new coronavirus cases, with Florida leading the country. Federal health officials are again urging all Americans to wear masks in public as the Trump administration pushes to get public schools reopened. NBC's Jennifer Johnson reports from Washington. 
The U.S. has set a single-day record for new COVID-19 cases seven of the last 12 days, and the death toll continues to rise. But federal health officials say the trend can be reversed. We can turn this thing around in two to three weeks if we can get a critical mass of people wearing face coverings. President Trump wore a mask for the first time in public during a visit to Walter Reed Military Medical Center late Saturday after months of backlash for not wearing one. The president and his team are now pushing children to put on masks and get back to school in just a few weeks. There is no nothing in the data that would suggest that kids being back in school is uh, is dangerous to them and in fact it's it's more a, a matter of their health and well-being that they be back in school. But COVID-19 cases have rapidly spread in Texas daycare centers and some summer camps. We also want to do it uh, and make sure that our kids are going to be as safe as possible. So we're not going to be rushed into this. School districts and hotspots are scrambling to come up with plans, some considering hybrid learning remotely and in the classroom. We're going to obviously do our very best in our community, considering where the health data currently is. A positivity rate of 29.1%. A month ago, it was at 6%. Many in education feel reopening schools is a balance between a child's mental and physical health. School leaders now need to find the safest path in this new chapter of learning. Jennifer Johnson, NBC News, Washington. And here in Kern County, public health announced another 163 cases this morning. No new deaths to report tonight. The local toll still stands at 97 people dead from COVID-19. We are seeing more people isolated at home. The number is now over 2,000, while 137 are isolated at local hospitals. And we want to remind you, many of these cases are from weeks ago, and we're just getting the results now. Our peak today of uh, infections continues to be June 23rd. Over 340 cases are linked to that date, just two days after Father's Day. Education news now. The Norris School District meets tomorrow to plan out the upcoming school year. The Board of Trustees made no definitive decisions last week on how kids would return to school. Members reportedly talked about traditional classroom learning with the precautions and distancing or virtual learning. We could see a decision tomorrow. School districts across the country are looking at hybrid approaches that could mix online learning with kids also having the option to return to the classroom. And the larger Bakersfield City School District will have a special meeting this Tuesday on the same topic. The meeting will open at 1 p.m. and will be held over Zoom. The board will review and possibly approve a roadmap for returning to school. And we're just getting started here on 17 News at 11. Still ahead. It is still a very dangerous place to be. Uh, you treat it with caution. He's talking about the Kern River as yet another person loses their life after going in this weekend. Now, renewed calls to stay out and stay alive. Plus, a portion of one of Bakersfield's busiest highways is set to close beginning tonight. We'll tell you where. Did you know GEICO is now offering an extra 15% credit on car and motorcycle policies? Okay. That's 15% on top of what GEICO could already save you. So what are you waiting for? DJ Khaled to be your motivational coach? <laughs> Yo, Devin, remember the brush in a circle motion. Thank you, DJ Khaled. Tiny circles, Devin. Do another one. Another one. Is this good? Put in that word, Devin. Don't give up. Geico. Save an extra 15% when you switch by October 7th. When it comes to selling your home, what do you get with that fancy full commission agent? His fancy car? His $3,000 suit? Why pay for all that when Brian Hicks Realty is your full service broker that gets better results for just 3.5%? With in-house escrow, state licensed home repair, and professional photographer, you cut out all the middlemen. The numbers don't lie. Rank number one in Kern County and in the state. Don't pay 5 to 6% commission. Go with Brian Hicks. He's not a discount agent. He's simply the better agent. Brian Hicks. He's the working man's agent, working harder and smarter for you. It's our 80th anniversary sale at Motor City, California's largest volume Buick GMC dealer. Right now, get our employee discount for everyone on most SUV models. That means over 7,000 total savings on Acadia. Visit MotorCityGMC.com for a list of both lease and finance options. Shop from home, take delivery in a safe and clean environment. For a professional-grade experience, welcome to the city, Motor City. 
Stem cell regeneration is a breakthrough medical treatment that greatly reduces or eliminates chronic pain. At Central Valley Pain Management, Dr. Grande uses stem cell regeneration to treat damaged knees, hips, joints, and the spine. Well, it was a tremendous step forward for me as I went to that um, appointment in pain and I left there and got my pickup pain free. I'm Dr. Grande with Central Valley Pain Management. You don't have to live with pain. Call it was another hot day today. Alyssa Carlson joins us now with our Pinpoint Forecast. What a day, what a weekend. Temperatures today with heat wave number three again at that 108 degree mark. And we have the heat advisory all the way through tomorrow night for the valley. Also looking at hot temperatures in the foothills upwards of 105. The desert 110 easily upwards of 114 degrees. So we'll continue to look for hot temperatures tonight and into tomorrow. Meanwhile, on the lookout here for heat illness. When we do see temperatures this hot, uh, heat illnesses are common. So here are the signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion versus heat stroke. Hopefully you are not experiencing any of, the, any of these symptoms, throbbing headaches, sweating, hot, dry skin. That would be heat stroke. If you have cold, uh, pale, clammy skin, that's heat exhaustion. Also looking at a rapid pulse and muscle craps for heat exhaustion. And then a rapid strong pulse and you may lose consciousness for heat stroke. So if you have any of these symptoms, you're advised to get to a cool air conditioned place, drink plenty of water, and if it is severe enough, you may even have to call 911. So take it easy out there. Tomorrow, more of the same, not quite as hot, but still, we could easily see 104, 105 around the valley. High pressure building in. So that is continuing with this ridge of high pressure overhead over the four corners states we still have a little bit of monsoon flow that has not worked our way yet and in fact I don't anticipate much in terms of monsoon moisture there's a cold front that'll sweep on through dropping temperatures down a few degrees Tuesday and into the rest of this week we could see some pop-up showers or thunderstorms in the central Sierra and then into the rest of the week what's watching still as that monsoon flow is in Arizona but not yet into central or southern California so that will keep us dry temperatures here are going to be in the upper 70s tonight in the areas from Taft to Maricopa. Shafter, you'll be at 71 tonight and then 105 there tomorrow. 105 in McFarland, 104 over in Porterville, 105 in Arvin, 102 in Bakersfield. In the mountains tonight, 65 in Pine Mountain Club, 56 in Fraser Park. Looking at upper 90s in the Kern River Valley tomorrow after overnight lows in the mid 70s. Stallion Springs, you'll see 91. It's going to be breezy in the mountains once again tomorrow and the winds will pick up in the desert too, but that's a warm wind. It's more of an oven-like feel with winds gusting up to 40. 101 Edwards Air Force Base, 109 in Ridgecrest. Air quality and healthy for sensitive groups. Here is that pinpoint forecast then. Triple digits on the way. 104 tomorrow, 102 by Thursday, 102 for Saturday and Sunday in the valley. And the mountains will be into the upper 80s, lower 90s, overnight lows in the upper 50s, and in the Kern River Valley. Upper 90s all the way through next weekend with temperatures at night into the upper 60s, lower 70s. Take it easy, stay inside, and please stay hydrated and stay safe. Aton. Thanks, Alyssa. Yeah, it is so hot out there that if you need to escape the heat, local cooling centers are now open across Kern County. Temperatures are high enough where certain buildings are now open for anyone to come in and cool off. Officials are encouraging you to wear masks and practice social distancing if you plan to use a cooling center. So you can find the closest cooling center to your neighborhood on KGET.com. Just click on the hot link icon for a list. So stay cool out there. We're back with more news after the break. This is important news for women diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Talcum powder may have caused your ovarian cancer. According to many studies, long-term use of talcum powder in products such as baby powder or shower to shower for feminine hygiene is linked directly to ovarian cancer. If you are an ovarian cancer victim or if a loved one died from ovarian cancer after using talcum powder, call the law offices of Davis and Crump at the number below right now to find out if you are eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Call now. I'm a and I'm big bacon guy. Big so bacon boy. I, yeah, a big yeah. bacon boy. Yeah. That's great bacon. It's good bacon. It's crispy bacon. I like crispy, crispy bacon. bacon. Very crispy. The BBLT. This oh, is great. That's a killer deal, man. Yeah, great amount of bacon on this thing. When looking for a TV and internet provider, we know you have a choice. 
This is Jessica. She still has satellite TV. Well, I get tons of HD. The Spectrum has tons of HD. And we get exclusive access to premium original content with Spectrum Originals. I don't have that. Plus, sometimes in the rain, our services go out. Because of the dish on your roof? Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-916-4499. And Spectrum Internet starts at 100 megabits with no data caps and a free modem. We have to get internet from another company and it isn't nearly as fast. Spectrum Internet, $44.99 a month. I'd switch, but I'm stuck in a contract and would have to pay up to $480 to cancel. Spectrum has no contracts and they'll pay up to $500 to help you out of yours. That's it. I'm switching to Spectrum. Get Spectrum TV and internet from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-916-4499. I use ice cream as kind of for medicinal purposes, you know. This would be so good for dinner. Very crispy. Spicy. Delicious. A little tang. The crunch. Oh, that's dangerous. Hot through everything. <laughs> Welcome back. This weekend, we saw a fourth person go missing in the Kern River. Search and rescue teams recovered the man's body yesterday. The sheriff's office says they received a report of the man going into the river near Miracle Hot Springs. The man was described to be in his 30s from the Los Angeles area, but was not wearing a life vest. Park rangers, deputies, and the Kern County Fire Department took part in the search for the man and used a helicopter to search the water for him. Now, with the increased heat that we are seeing, especially over the next week, people are going to want to gravitate toward the river. It is still a very dangerous place to be. Uh, you treat it with caution, use life jackets, um, keep an eye on your loved ones, don't consume alcoholic beverages when you're near and around the river. And if you want to enjoy the river properly, I encourage people to use uh, professional rafting service. Officials say the helicopter located the man's body on a riverbank nearby. The Kern County Coroner's Office will identify the man. In spite of the economic shutdown caused by the pandemic, there are signs of growth in the city of Bakersfield. According to the city, nearly 1,400 building permits were issued in June. That's the most for any month in the last five years. That includes over 130 permits for single-family homes that are worth $35 million overall. To compare, the city says... They issued just over 1,100 permits in May, and construction on multifamily homes this year has already outpaced 2019. The city says it's a, it's a sign of recovery for local construction. And get ready for some lane closures on Golden State Avenue. Tonight and tomorrow, there will be a full closure for northbound 204 starting at 8 p.m. Crews will be paving the road this week between F Street, that's F like Frank, and Highway 99. For the rest of the week, until Thursday, both directions of State Route 204 will be reduced to just one lane overnight. But the road will reopen at 6 a.m. each morning. Still ahead, an act of vandalism left a restaurant facing a huge bill for repairs. But what followed? An act of kindness that brightened this community. That on the other side. Have chronic neck, back, or joint pains? Stem cell regeneration is one of the most promising areas of modern medical advancements. Sitting, gardening was all very difficult to do. Central Valley Pain Management has given me a better quality of life. Dr. Grande is going to give you a wonderful quality of care, and you're not going to find this anyplace else. At Central Valley Pain Management, we want you to live your best life free of pain. Call now for a consultation. Daryl's Mini Storage offers storage units in a variety of sizes to fit your needs. Mid-size units like this are perfect for most people. It's like having an extra bedroom right around the corner from your home. With room to fit holiday decorations, sports equipment, or whatever is keeping you from fitting your car in the garage. Daryl's Mini Storage provides the personal touch of on-site managers. With 60 locations to choose from, use us as an extension of your home and garage. Find your space at Daryl's. Call, click, or stop by today. Cigarettes are not just dangerous when they're smoked. They're dangerous long after. Cigarette butts are toxic. They release chemicals that poison our water and harm wildlife. And millions are polluting our environment.
This is important news for men who have taken Viagra, Cialis, or Levitra and then suffered from the skin cancer melanoma. According to a new study, the use of Viagra and other ED drugs may increase the risk of men developing a serious form of skin cancer known as melanoma. Call the law offices of Davis and Crump right now. Our first consultation is free, and we don't get paid unless you get paid. Call now. Operators are standing by. Welcome back. Hundreds of people turned out for a protest in Martinez, California, that's up north, after flyers went up in the area in support of white supremacy. According to the group's Facebook page, the march was meant to show those who posted the flyers that uh, threats were not going to deter groups from their goal of racial equality and putting an end to police brutality. The event was hosted by several activist organizations, including Together We Stand. The group met at the site of a recently defamed Black Lives Matter street mural and marched to the Martinez Waterfront Park. The group stressed the protest was meant to be peaceful, but even still some business owners in the area decided to board up their windows in case the march got out of hand. And here in the Golden Empire, eight Black Lives Matter demonstrators took to the streets of Rosemont yesterday. You can see here the group gathered in Glendower Park. Organizer Brandy Hares says this is the third such demonstration she set up in that community. We're told everything remained peaceful. Gas prices have gone up nationally over the last two weeks. Regular grade gasoline rose about two cents per gallon for an average of $2.24 per gallon. The lowest price so far this year was on April 24th at $1.98, about 59 cents lower than that time last year. Due to higher oil prices and higher prices of ethanol since June 26th, there has been a slight increase in prices. The demand for gasoline continues to be down due to the coronavirus pandemic. Now, locally, an act of random vandalism left a local restaurant facing a big bill for repairs, but what happened next at Casa Munoz exemplifies the restorative power of faith in people both known and unknown. 17's Robert Price stopped in for some Chile Verde and has this report. If you run a small business, chances are at some point you've experienced vandalism. Casa Munoz knows all about that. Our story starts one day in mid-June when owner Joe Pep Munoz Jr. got a text from someone had smashed the large lighted box sign on the north end of the building. But she said, hey, somebody broke the sign. I'm like, what do you mean they broke the sign? So I came out, took a look, somebody had, had popped a big hole in it, broke it out, and I was like, really? Seriously? Well, it bugged my daughter, so she put it on Facebook and goes, hey, look, you know, things are hard enough as it is right now. On Facebook, a lot of people reached out and, oh, let us do a, a GoFundMe or something. And, you know, all we could ask for our customers is just let us serve you. Joe Jr.'s family has been in the restaurant business for decades. They've been involved in Sinaloa and Mexicali over the years and this location on Union Avenue for 30 years. And he wasn't going to let this phase him much. He called Adrian Taylor over at Sign Solutions of California, with whom he's been doing business for years, and ordered a replacement sign. A few days later, he texted her to thank her for a job well done. He says, the sign looks beautiful. And I said, what do you mean? So I ran and asked my husband, you didn't get that done, did you? No, not yet. That's today. So I text back, and I said, uh, what are you talking about? Yes, someone fixed the sign. A $600 job, apparently taken care of anonymously, free of charge, and sometime after hours. Some of our local customers were even tagging some of our other customers that own sign companies. This was you, wasn't it? And they're, no, we can't take the credit for that. That wasn't us. So we really are at a loss as to who replaced the sign for us. So they didn't do it for money. They're obviously not doing it for notoriety or attention, but just because they love the Munoz family like so many of us here in Bakersfield. The folks at Casa Munoz have no idea who fixed their sign. They have so many friends and family members. It could have been just about anybody. That's a positive sign of the times. In Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News. A positive sign of the times indeed. Thank you, Robert Price, for that report. All right, more to come on this Sunday. Ahead on 17 News at 11, police come to the rescue of a tiny critter in Australia. The story behind the newest member of the force after the break.
is important news for women diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Talcum powder may have caused your ovarian cancer. According to many studies, long-term use of talcum powder in products such as baby powder or shower to shower for feminine hygiene is linked directly to ovarian cancer. If you are an ovarian cancer victim or if a loved one died from ovarian cancer after using talcum powder, call the law offices of Davis and Crump at the number below right now to find out if you are eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Call now. This cheeseburger is the best. It's about to get best of baby. Make it a double. Yeah. Nice man. Try my $4.99 Southwest Cheddar Cheeseburger Combo and make it a double for a buck more. Order now with no contact delivery. At Manji Landscape, it all starts with a mission. Since 1953, our commitment has been designing, building, and caring for beautiful environments. Our clients love the fact that no matter how complex their project is, they can rely on just one company to bring it to life. Let our team of professionals help you discover the endless possibilities of waiting outdoors. Manji Landscape, redefining outdoor living since 1953. Bill Ray Pile, the West Coast's largest tile store, is right here in Bakersfield. With over 1 million square feet of tile in stock, we have your style covered. We import tile directly from factories around the world. Check out our extraordinary selection of wood-looking tile, stone, and 24 by 24 jumbo tile. Stop paying big box prices on tile. Buy factory direct today and save big. Bill Ray Tile, making tile affordable since 1956. Welcome to Abby's Mini Storage. We've been family owned for over 25 years. We have about a thousand units for all your storage needs. Finally, here at, five, at 11, excuse me, police in Australia have a new furry recruit, and we don't mean a canine this time. Meet Ted, an eight-month-old baby wombat. The wombat was taken in by New South Wales police after his mother was tragically struck by a car late last month. Since then, Ted has been a regular fixture at the police station, running about the place or just taking naps in his portable bed. Ted will remain under the care of the police until he is at least 18 months old, and then once that happens, he'll be old enough to be released back into the wild. Police say the officers have all taken and enjoyed Ted's company and enjoy having him at the station. Nice story there out of Down Under in Australia. All right, that's all for us. We thank you for choosing 17 News. We know you have many choices for news. We'll be right back here tomorrow for 17 News at sunrise. Until then, good night.